This will be a partial solution uh, for problem three on the homework set on uh, Friday the 13th, uh, 13th of March. It's only a partial solution because this is also a homework problem. So I want to give you some guidance in getting this set up, uh, in drawing the cartoons, and in thinking about um, what is going on where. Uh, I apologize, my drawings may be a little bit cumbersome here. So we have three moments in time that we need to draw. So I'll split my page into three. Actually, that one is right there. So, whoops, I'm on the wrong tool. I am still learning to use this thing. So drawing number one, drawing number two, and drawing number three. Uh, so in the beginning, uh, so Rohana is on a swing. She can be a box here. And the dog, who will be a box with legs. And come on. Uh, maybe a little head and some ears. Yeah, I'm bad at this. Um, so room the dog is initially moving um, at some speed v1. And I don't know what it is. Let me, let me draw that better. So initially, he's moving forward at some speed v1. And we don't know what that is. We'll find it later in the problem. Uh, in drawing number two, this is right after the um, right after room lands in her lap. Oops, wrong tool. Again, please be patient with me learning to use my tablet. So here we've got these two objects together. And they're going to be right after he lands in her lap, moving this way at some speed v2, which we also don't know. And then finally, in drawing 3, so the rope was initially like that but it's going to swing up into the air. Whoops. It's going to swing up into the air at some angle. Which I'll label as theta. And at that point, touch screen has gotten a little glitchy because one of my hairs fell on it. That's going to be an ongoing problem. Uh, at the end, they're not moving because this is the highest swing of the entire thing. Um, we'll label the length of the rope as L. Now, the next two parts of this problem ask you what physical principles you can use to relate v1 to v2. So v1 relates to v2 how? And here, v2 
relates to V3. How? Now, I'm going to give you a hint here. This is your homework problem, so I won't tell you the whole thing. But this here, going from picture one to picture two, this is a collision, right? One thing jumps into another thing's lap. After that, they're going at the same speed. And from picture two to picture three, this is motion where time is irrelevant. So you know uh, one technique that you've used to understand collisions. You know another technique that you've used to understand motion where time doesn't matter and where you know something about the forces. So that's how to, um, that will tell you how to relate number one to number two and number two to number three. There's one other piece of shenanigans in this problem, and I'll put a hint here for anyone watching the video. So in going from picture two to picture three, you will need to know the change in height of Ohana and her dog at the end of this rope. And that change in height here requires a little bit of geometry. So let's talk about that. So this here is delta H. I'll draw it a little closer. <clears throat> now, if the entire string has length L, then this piece, so the button is a pawn on, there we go. Let me fix my picture again. Thank you for bearing with me as I learn to use my new tools. I've practiced, but I've only had this for like a day, so I haven't practiced as much as I should, clearly. Um, this side, that's the adjacent side, so that's just going to be L cosine theta. And if the entire thing is L, then that means that this little piece here is what's left. Its length is L minus L cosine theta. So that's something that you will need um, uh, to do the, that part of your homework. So thank you all for watching this. Again, please submit feedback to me about any of these, uh, either uh, over Blackboard Collaborate, over email, or um, over the class Discord.